Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make admin commands for your game. And I'm not talking about some old school admin commands, I'm going to show you how to make them right now. I'm going to show you how to make it fun and amazing. So first of all, we're going to be typing added. Whoops. Connect to function player. It has one parameter thingy, I don't know what it's called, I forgot, I'm not going to bother looking it up. So player, that's the reference to the player that was just added. So now we're just going to connect that player that was just added to each channel event. Can you guess what that means? Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just connect the player to the chat event. Whenever they chat, this registers and we could do some fancy stuff to it. It has this message parameter. It also has one more parameter, but we're not going to be using that. So, let's make a kill command. It's a very basic first command that people like to make and they're very proud of making. So if that message is equal to a prefix, have you noticed in the admin's commands in like calls admin commands, they have those prefixes called like the, the colon prefix. So you have to do the colon kill person. That's what we're going to be doing. Just reference a prefix called colon. So if message sub the substring of a message, um, if that substring of a message from the first character to um, the, fir the first position of the character to prefix my bad, to the end of, of the first character, meaning that we were only targeting the first character of a string, If in case you were wondering that's how we do it, um, is equal to prefix. So if that is equal to prefix, the first character is equal to colon, then it's an admin command, most likely. Hopefully the person was trying to do that. So now we need to go on to if that um, then we're going to reference, because that, that denotes that it was an ad, most likely an admin command, we'll just assign it to a variable. Assign message sub 2. That's our CMD. Whatever is after prefix, that's our command. Now, we're getting, we're getting into the kill command. So if CMD sub sub 1 to 4 is equal to kill because kill is has a length of 4 1 2 3 4 so if that if the substring from 1 to 4 is equal to kill then we need to find the player so let's create a function really fast for that I'll show you how to do it function find player Shh, message find we're going to reference that uh, we're going to assign that to a variable equals find player because we want that function to return a player if a player is found message sub sub um, sub uh, 6 because we we're gonna have a separator space separator it could be any separator in this case it doesn't have to be uh, just a normal space it could be any separator and yeah we're gonna get the substring of 6 starting at uh, 6 Start starting at six. Uh, yep, we have an empty function. How do we do this? Just put in a for loop. For e index and pair or something something game that players just follow what I do. It's, it's a for loop for iter iterating through through players. What did I do wrong? So this is what you gotta type. For um, and these two can be different character, different um, references. They could be ad. It could be anything. Uh, for underscore v in pairs, give the players get players do iterating through the players. If the v dot name, if player dot name sub one from the first character to the to message land, that's our that's the person that we're trying to target. If it if it so happens that this player is his name is equal to whatever we said, then return v return the player and we forgot to mention something we forgot to make it equal to message lower make it lowercase so that way we can write it in uppercase and lowercase I know it sounds complicated at first but just really look over it I'm trying to explain the best that I can so now that say that whatever find player found the player whose name matches the message that we the, the the target that we want to find if player that's basically what I just explained if player if it did return this because it found this then 
player dot character because that's the player that was returned if it found it that's our target player break joints and that's that alright guys I'm back um, there's a problem and I fixed it right here um, just replace message with CMD I know I made a mistake here I'm sorry I'm sorry if, if, if you couldn't get it to work I I told you how to do it I told you how to fix it <laughs> This was the problem. Just know this was the problem. Replace messages with CMD. That's all you need to do. Oh, and there was a little error that I wrote here. I didn't spell character right, so I'll just respell that rightly. And just uh, that's that's all you need to fix. And just uh, whoop, 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 whoop. if we type kill play, because that's our player's name. In lowercase, see it worked. It works anyway. You put it. If I had done all caps, still kills me. Notice that any separator works. So if I typed kill then A and then player, it still works. Any separator works. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to define a separator if you only want a specific separator. I'll show you how to um, make some other stuff, how to make it even cooler, how to make it more organized, how to add an admin list. But for now, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed my big text that I just added. And I'll see you guys in the next video.